Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Tuesday, July 20th, 2021. All right, let's get started. I want to cross part of a sandal. Hmm. I wonder if that's going to be thong. Yeah, that's kind of an old timey word for a sandal. I think it's specifically the part that kind of goes between your toes and over your foot. Yeah, let's see if we can confirm that. So, another word for so could be thus. It's also kind of old timey. Perfect as skills. It could also be perfect as skills, but I think it's much more likely that it's perfect as a verb. Maybe that's hone. Yeah, okay. Three down. Leonardo DiCaprio received four of them before winning. Oh, right. He was a long time, uh, like, not winner, right? As far as the Oscars go. Okay, so maybe that's Oscar nods. Nods is kind of like an informal way of saying nominations, right? Or maybe it's actually, you know, it's probably noms instead of nods. Um, it's kind of interesting. There's no indication of that kind of informal language in the clue. Um, unless we're dealing with a rebus uh, where the rest of nominations might be hidden. I kind of doubt that though. I think it's probably just noms. Blank Larson, Harlem Renaissance novelist. Hmm, I don't know if I've ever seen this name before. Let's take a look at these crosses here. Canadian boar? Uh, that's a hoser, right? Yeah, like the Mackenzie brothers, you hoser. Okay, I give up. When you have a clue in quotes like this, that means you need to come up with an equivalent phrase. So an equivalent of I give up could be uncle, right? When you're giving up, you say uncle. All right, this might be our first theme answer here. Kind of headlight on older cars. And it starts with C? Hmm. I'm not sure about this one. What's this long down? Uranus, but not Neptune. Oh, this is such a tricky clue. This is, um, it kind of makes you think that it's about the planets, right? But I think they're talking about names of gods. Um, so Uranus could be a Greek god. And Neptune would be a Roman god, I guess. Wow, that is so tricky for a Tuesday clue. I really like that. That's a really nice misdirection. Okay. Um, earn copious amounts of? Could that be rake in? Yeah. I still don't know what this headlight is going to be. Sealed something, probably. And that would make this Nella Larson. This would be a D. Farmer's place. And this is a wordplay clue, as indicated by this question mark. Um, there's kind of an old nursery rhyme, the farmer in the dell, right? So maybe it's a dell. Just putting that D in there in my mind helped me see that. Okay. Uh, so it is probably going to be sealed. Um, maybe it's like a gas of some kind. Could it be like sealed neon or... I'm not sure what it's going to be. Shin bone. What is the name for your shin bone? Is it your tibia? Uh, it might be. Let's see if we can confirm that. Ooh, we got a revealer on this long one down. Um, hmm. I'm going to avoid looking at that for a little while. And maybe as we fill in our theme answers, we can kind of get an idea of what it might be. Marissa of My Cousin Vinny. Yeah, that's Marissa Tomei. I love her in that movie. That movie is so great. And she's just delightful in it. Okay, grr, an equivalent phrase again. Um, is it just I'm mad? <laughs> it could be. Actress Watson of the Harry Potter films. That was Emma Watson. She was Hermione, right? Blank USA. Hmm. Is it Team USA? That's like the Olympic team, right? Old time comic Caesar. That's Sid Caesar. Um... Is it with a C or an S? I think it's an S. 
Okay. Dampens. Hmm. Dampens. It means you're like lessening something. I'm not sure what that's going to be. Maybe it's sealed beam. Sealed beam. Interesting. Okay. Uh, observation deck feature not for the squeamish. <laughs> okay. I think I know this one. This is a glass floor. Yeah, that's um, kind of you see that on like really tall buildings. You can look down and you're just sort of floating. Yeah, that's kind of scary, especially if you're afraid of heights. Um, okay, this is probably another theme answer, so I don't know. I can't see anything that these two have in common. Um, what do we have? What's the next? Okay, so we have two more. Um, let's just do one more, and if we can't kind of find what they have in common, we'll take a peek at the revealer. Blank Arbor, Michigan. That'll be Ann Arbor, Michigan. Almost unfathomably large number. That is a Google. And this is the actual spelling of Google, not the uh, tech company. That's a one with a hundred zeros after it. Okay. Golden blank. Um, this is tough because it could be golden ages, golden aged, or golden ager. Um, let's see what this is here. One of the R's in R&R. &R. That should be rest and relaxation, right? So I guess we have a golden ager, someone in their golden age. Zero could be none. Brought to a close. That should be ended. Oh, so it did end up being Oscar Nod. Whoops. <laughs> okay. That's actually better because this is not like an abbreviation. Um, yeah. Okay. That actually makes more sense there. Okay. Brought to a close, ended, okay. Be rewarded as for waitressing. That should be get a tip, right? Okay. I'm just gonna try and kind of build off near the next theme answer so we can hopefully get that. Like a landscape after a volcanic eruption. Um, maybe it would be ashen, because it's all covered in ash, volcanic ash. HBO competitor should be Showtime. That's all blank wrote. That's all she wrote is the phrase. So let's look at this theme answer now that we have a little bit entered in. Stored deeply and securely. Hmm. I want it to end in a way, like stashed away or something. This is probably a D. Actor Schreiber. No, you know, I think I think his name is Liev Schreiber, so it's not a D. Maybe it's not a way, actually. Um, hmm, interesting. High school class for science whizzes. That should be AP Bio, Advanced Placement Bio. LeBron James or Stephen Curry once in brief. Um... Is this just going to be NBAers? I, I, I actually don't know that much about basketball, so I don't know if these two are still playing or not. I know they're both really good basketball players. Yeah, if they're both retired, maybe it is NBAers because they used to play in the NBA, but now they don't. Okay. Yeah, this is an abbreviation you'll really only see on crossword puzzles. They also do it with baseball and football, so you could also see... MLBers or NFLers. Bygone holder of Apple Picks. Is it iPhoto? Yeah, they don't really have iPhoto anymore, right? Okay. Fellow could be a chap. It's kind of British slang there. Jerry's partner in cartoondom. Um, that should be Tom, right? Uh, okay, so it's not NBAers. Tom. Uh, maybe it's NBA MVP. That would make sense. Okay. Yeah, because I, I was kind of surprised that they wouldn't be playing anymore. It seemed like they still play basketball. Yeah, so I'm glad to see that they're still in the league and playing. That's good. Play the role of... That should be act as, I think. Off-roader in brief is an ATV. Yeah, that's an all-terrain vehicle. And this would be sop up for soak up. Yeah, that's good. 
You want to make sure that this word in parentheses after the clue can go after your answer when you have a word in parentheses like that. Okay, so this is in the vault. There we go. Okay. So we have sealed beam, glass floor, and in the vault. Hmm. Beam floor vault. It's really weird. Yeah, I don't know what these have in common. For some reason, I'm I'm thinking like sealed glass and vault. Hmm. Oh, hang on a minute. I cheated a little bit and took a look at this. This is starting to look like woman's, right? Woman's. So, and then I looked at the ends again. There's beam, floor, and vault. Those are all gymnastics events, right? Yeah, there's like the floor routine, the balance beam, the vault. And what else? There's like bars, right? Are we going to get uneven bars? I bet this last answer is going to end in bars. Let's see here. Chocolatey treats that you might break me off a piece of. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Yeah, okay. So we get Kit Kat bars, plural, because it's asking for treats, plural. Nice. So we kind of guessed that last one. That's great. And then this has got to be women's gymnastics, right? Let's see if that's right. Olympic sport whose all-around competition is composed of the last parts of 19, 26, 44, and 52 across. Yeah. Nice. That was great. Women's gymnastics. All right. So we kind of got that. I, I kind of just looked at this and it came to me really quickly. So yeah, but that was fun. We, we almost got what was happening at the ends of all of these answers. This is a really nicely constructed puzzle. They've got this big grid spanner here, and it works with the ends of four answers. This is a very kind of tight construction here. I like that a lot. Okay, and we're getting ready for the Olympics too, right? That's good timing. Okay, a nincompoop? Could that be a simp? I think it is a simp. I think that's like a simpleton maybe? Is that what that's short for? Hog food? Uh. Oh, this is kind of almost the misdirection. Um, my first thought was this is the action of hogging food, but this is actually food that is for hogs and that would be slop, right? Nice. Okay. City on the Rhone. That's Lyon. It's a city in France. Cheery sort. Um, I guess this is wordplay. So it's not going to be just about a person that's cheerful or happy, right? This is going to be a pun, and I think it's going to be about someone who cheers, literally. So that'll be a fan, right? Like a sports fan. Stay outdoors overnight with some of the comforts of home. This is a nice kind of modern phrase. This is glamp, right? It's kind of a portmanteau of glamorous and camp. Glamorous camping. You're glamping. I like that. Furniture wood could be elm. It's a nice sturdy wood. Still life vessels. This is a good crosswordy word to know. This is ewers. It's another name for a pitcher, like something that would carry a liquid. Okay, it loses to three of a kind. That's two pair, right, in poker. Something a couple of speakers can provide. This would be stereo, right? as opposed to like mono when you're talking about music speakers. One way around Disneyland. I think they have a tram in Disneyland. It's been a while since I've been there. Actress Hetty of old Hollywood. That's Hetty Lamar. She was kind of a bombshell and also she was an inventor. She invented some stuff that came in handy during World War II. Yeah, she was quite a Renaissance woman. Okay. Rock music style could be emo. Principle of Confucianism would be Tao. Yeah, that's like Chinese philosophy. Camera type for short would be single lens reflex camera. 
That's a camera that lets you look right through the lens via some prisms and mirrors. Parts of accusations in Clue. Yes, that's the rooms. You would say something like, it was Professor Plum in the library with a candlestick, right? Part of that is the room. Okay, bread producers. Ooh, another wordplay clue. Um, I mean, you almost always have to be suspicious of bread because that's a slang term for money. So this is not going to be about bakers. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what would produce money. Maybe an ATM. Ooh, yeah, that's good. ATMs. Very nice. That's a classic wordplay clue there. Very good. Defensive spray. Could that be mace? Yeah, like self-defense. Academic acronym. Could that be STEM? Science, technology, engineering, and math. Pair of symbols in a drum set. That could be the hi-hat, right? Okay. Untrue, another equivalent phrase. That's a lie. That could be an equivalent phrase there. That's nice. Okay. High flying sharpshooter. That could be an air ace. That's kind of like a World War I term. Okay. Become a huge success. That's got to be hit it big, right? Yeah. Okay. Leaves or cleaves. Hmm. This is interesting. Cleaves is a, a very tricky word because it has two meanings. It can mean to like hang on tightly to something or it can mean to like split something in two. Hmm. Aid in scrolling to the top. Hmm. Is this about computer stuff like on a web page? Hmm. Penne blank vodka? That's penne a la vodka. It's a pasta dish. Okay. Hmm. This is a tricky one. What's this one? Kids batting game? That should be t-ball, right? I play that as a kid. So this is splits. Okay. That's great. What a fun clue there. Because when you leave, you split and one of the definitions of cleaving is to split something in two, yeah. So what is this? Up? Huh. I don't know what this is. We're gonna need help on that one. Retain could be keep. Concerning. Hmm. Is this what something is concerning? Like what it's about? One who says you wish. And this is wordplay because it has this question mark. So maybe it's a, a genie. <laughs> Literally someone that would be like, you need to make a wish. Yeah. So maybe this is just the up key. This is a little weird because I call that the up arrow, not the up key. Yeah, that's a little strange, but it does sort of make logical sense. Okay. Blank Jackson, title character in Rick Riordan books. Oh man. Um, I don't recognize this name, but I have heard of a book series called Percy Jackson. I think that's kind of young adult stuff. So I think that's a good guess there. 4.0 is a good one. Yeah. If you have a 4.0 GPA, that's better than a good one. That's a great one. It's a perfect GPA. Chimps and bonobos. Yes, those are both apes. And us humans are another kind of ape. Okay, concerning in re. Yeah, that's a abbreviation in regards to. Yeah, okay. Equine color could be roan. Yeah, that's kind of like a brownish color. Yeah, you only really hear that in relation to horses. That's kind of a horse term. All right, let's look at these acrosses here. The Jungle Book Bear is blue. Yeah. It's a long story. Yes, the Iliad is a long story. Secluded valleys. That could be glens, right? So that gives us sods. Lays the groundwork. Yes, we get a final wordplay clue here. Yeah, because sod is something you can literally lay on the ground. It's like rolled up grass, right? All right, and let's see if that does it for us. Nice. All right, that's a little bit of a long time for us, but I think we were just sort of 
taking her time through the puzzle here. That was a really fun theme. I liked that. This, like I said, this construction is really good. Having this big, long grid spanner and then having that get crossed by the four theme answers. A lot of the times with a theme like this, you'll just get the ends that have something in common and then maybe you'll get a tiny little revealer or something. But having this long answer that crosses them all is, is really kind of something special. That's pretty nice. Um, yeah. This I hadn't heard before, this sealed beam is kind of weird, but um, all the rest of them are very good answers. Yeah, glass floor in the vault and Kit Kat bars. There was a couple of nice terms on today's puzzle that I really liked. Hoser always makes me laugh. I think that's such a funny term. I like the actual Google term. That's a cool one to see. And there was a bunch of good wordplay today too. There was the genie clue. I think ATMs is probably the best. That's like classic type of wordplay. This one's good too, sods. We didn't really get a chance to get that one, but that's a fun one. And this Greek god clue, that is fantastic. This is a great misdirection because I was just thinking straight like, oh, this has got to be about planets, right? That's a really good one. This is almost something you would see on a later week puzzle. This is very tricky for a Tuesday puzzle. I like that they threw that one in there. Um, I think maybe the only thing about this puzzle is there's kind of a lot of proper nouns. There's Nella Larson, there's Hedy Lamar, there's Marissa Tomei crossing Emma Watson. Um, I mean, thankfully these two are pretty well known, but still pr crossing nouns is always a little tricky for me. Um, yeah, we've got, I don't know, Tom and Percy here. They're both fictional proper nouns, but yeah, we've got another one too with Blue. Um, so that's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of a lot, but I don't think any of them are too tricky except for maybe Nella and Lamar here. But yeah, overall, I really enjoyed this one. This was nice. It's a nice way to get us all excited for the Olympics that are happening this summer. Well, I hope you all enjoyed doing some verbal gymnastics with me today on this Tuesday puzzle. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Wednesday puzzle. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.